So as you guys probably know, last year, GeoGuessr launched itself into the esports arena with the announcement of the GeoGuessr World Cup 2023, which qualifiers took place in August. And then the final happened on October 14th, 2023 in Stockholm. So obviously I'm late to this topic, shocker there, right? But I wanted to use this video as kind of a retrospective of how did it go? How did everything work out? Was there a community there? And then I would also like to use this video as a you know, look ahead to the future. What can we expect? Uh, what do I see in the future of a GeoGuessr eSport? Because it is a novel concept. Although the game has been around for 10 years before launching into this arena, there, there, there weren't any examples of a true GeoGuessr backed uh, esports event or even grassroots so as the fact where it would be on land and in person there, there had been you know community tournaments run by Rainbolt every once uh, every once a while usually every weekend actually and I, I would tune in and watch those they worked fine enough but it is a good thing to have a, a company back your esport and you know kind of make make it a legitimate thing as opposed to just an online tournament in like a discord call somewhere so to go over some of the numbers in which the world cup final was between consensus and blinky in which consensus took the victory and won the prize pool so let's go over some numbers the viewership of that final was 71,000 concurrent viewers which i think is a very respectable amount of viewers for a fledgling esports scene and can be comparable to some of the oldest esports around one of them being Melee, which is one that I'm personally a fan of, so I, I bring that up because I, I see similar viewership numbers in Melee tournaments that I would liken to around 70,000 viewers. As a start, I think it's a very, very good viewership number and should be commended because, you know, entering this scene after 10 years of not having a scene uh, that was quite like this is a difficult thing to do, but I will add that although these numbers are good, we need to see how the second one does. Because when you look at these numbers in, in, in sort of a vacuum, you would say, oh, you know, these are very good. But we also have nothing really to compare it to. And it's yet to be seen if we can attribute uh, a large viewership like that to simply the novelty of it. Uh, just like such a new thing. A lot of people who maybe heard about it or saw it on Twitch were like, and we're fans of the game or former fans of the game. So, oh, I'll tune in. We need to recognize that. Also, the average viewership of it was 25,000, right? So the final, while it, it garnered 70,000, the average viewership of the whole weekend was 25,000, which is, again, I think is fine. The final is always going to be more viewed than the, the quarter semis and stuff. But until we have it to compare to, I think the jury's still out on whether this will be a successful venture for GeoGuessr. Although I already see that it's made steps in the correct direction. Now we talk about the things that matter a little bit more. I mean, obviously viewership is what will keep it afloat, but to keep the viewership, we need to know, was this a good broadcast? Was it presented well? To that, I would say, yeah, I, I think it was. So personally, I didn't watch every moment of the, the World Cup when it was on. I caught glimpses of it. I would, you know, here or there log on, but I mostly saw the recap video that was posted by GeoGuessr, you know, a week later or so, or a few days later, whenever it was. I got to see most of the tournament that way. What I would say is the presentation was very good and gave off the feeling of legitimizing the sport. So, you know, you have these the presentation desks, uh, you had three people, uh, I believe uh, Zigzag was one of them, Ringbolt was commentating a lot, um, so bringing in community guys to commentate and uh, speculate and analyze stuff was obviously a no-brainer and should have been done, but I mean, it was done very relatively well. Um, the studio was set up as you would assume an esports studio would be set up. Anything that you would see at like a big league tournament or a big uh, Counter-Strike tournament with a live audience and the, the main stage. How the, the esports games were structured was very well. It wasn't too dissimilar to 
what you would see in a normal game, although being limited to 10 rounds, I'm still unsure of how I feel about each game being limited to 10 rounds because usually, as, as you know, if you've watched any of the Rainbow community streams, the games typically go into perpetuity, meaning as long as they can go. This structure was there were 10 rounds, whoever had less points at the end of that round would lose, which I think is fine and it, it speeds along the process, but you do lose a little bit of those moments where you, know, you have those huge comebacks. But, you know, I, I think it's a, it's a necessary thing to get rid of losing those big comeback moments to make it more balanced because when you get high up in the, multipl the multipliers like that, I mean, simply it can come down to just a few kilometers or miles at that point as to who will win the tournament sometimes meters it gets that low so i think i'm gonna go with that that's a good move maybe that could be moved around to maybe 10 to 12 or something like that but i i think uh in this way that when you limit the game in this way you will more than likely have a worthy champion uh, as i would say so for the future of geoguessr as an esport i think the future should be bright. It looks very good. Uh, I'm excited for this year's World Cup. As for watching the the qualifiers, you know, I, I'll watch here and there. I think that's that's fine. You don't really have to watch the qualifiers. What I think the most most of the community should care about is the World Cup final. Is there a worthy champion that's awarded with the you know the limitations that are placed on the game? And is the proper care being taken to present the game? to the audience and have an entertaining stream to watch as more stuff happens with the geoguessr world cup uh if you guys enjoy this i can talk more geoguessr esports and and watch it more so i can do analysis videos on on each qualifier obviously i just missed the american qualifier but the european qualifier is taking place today so if that's a thing that you guys want just let me know in the comments and i'll go ahead and do that but as of right now, we should all be looking forward to this year's GeoGuessr World Cup. Thanks to you guys for watching. I really enjoy making these videos because, you know, I get to just spew whatever the hell I want. <laughs> anyway, thanks, guys. Yeah. Till next time, peace. It's a mix of this shit, stirred up hot in the bag, crime scene, looking like the dog got in the trash, but in back away, a nigga tryna pop in the bag, catch a microwave, I forgot, it's a splash, when I cash out, blackout, trapped out my dad house, Jim Carrey, the DVD, I pull a mask out, lunchtime, grilling, get a pack, mad loud, hit a play, run around, I might pull a map out, I ain't jump off the porch, nigga, I flew, who with the new, them three letters need two, I got spine on my eyes, they get shut, and my mama be sick, funeral fluid, yeah.